Well, a group of artists in America are on a global mission to beautify the gritty streets and buildings that you actually pass by every day. And they hope to turn your ordinary trip through the city into a magical art museum. Navion's Andy Rosjan has their story from Chicago. If it weren't for the empty beer can, the crumbling columns, the roar of a train overhead, and the exposed pipes, you'd think you were in a major art gallery. What was a dark and dingy underpass in a south side Chicago neighborhood called Woodlawn has been utterly transformed by a months long project to bring art to the neighborhood that included the neighbors as the designers and the artists. People don't need to go to the gallery, they can just walk through their neighborhood and feel that sense of uplifted inspiration um, and not have to go out of their way. Camelia Hurstova, CEO of Chicago's Green Star Movement, and two of her fellow artists are getting their first look at their 4,000 square foot masterpiece since the city installed better lighting here. And that's a big deal. Wherever Green Star has installed public art in the city, dozens of places, the city gets pressure to improve the infrastructure around it. And then this is like this wall of history, I mean. Green Star has been beautifying public spaces for years, turning boring old places into giant canvases for artwork of all kinds, inspired by, well, anything, even India. But this year, the city has been putting up much more funding for the artwork to bring it to people who would never expect it in a tough neighborhood. People are scared to walk through it, so they will walk a mile out of their way to avoid it, and then we'll, we'll come in and we'll create this type of work, and now it's a meeting ground. Now it's a place where you want to go. The artwork comes in many forms, but it's the tile mosaics that almost seem to breathe and shimmer with life. Green Star artist Michael Taylor worked hard on that flower, and now it has blossomed. That's why we like to use so much mirror is um, the lighting and anybody who walks in front of the piece, they can see themselves in it and see what's going on in the space. It's really nice and it's very detailed. I think it's a really good highlight of what we can do. But more than anything, this artwork is a reflection of the neighborhood and what makes it proud. They were able to, you know, captivate the history, you know, and express it, you know, in a positive manner. That includes Woodlawn's famous blues singer, Minnie Ripperton, that artist Jordan Taggart is especially proud of. With this new lighting, just to see the, the inflection and the different in, uh, skin tone and the different colors that are all migrated, it's just amazing. Um, so my, the end product, I'm still floored. I'm floored by. We decided that what place, I mean, what, what better picture to capture the, this power couple than the first time that they walked out on that stage together as uh, president and first lady. Do the artists ever wish that their work could be on display in an art gallery instead of here? Well, sometimes. But they realize they've created their own art gallery. They've already done public art projects in Chicago and Brazil, and they're heading to Jamaica. So, India, if you're ready, they'd love to do Delhi. Andy Rosjan in Chicago for Weon.